It's an empowered Lapis. So whatever, whatever. Alright, are you rideable? You are. Super gross. I hate these things. No one likes you. Oh, God. I can't even get it out the door. Ah, creepy. So, Ark Survival Evolved TBF Gaming jumping back into our Center Eternal playthrough. Excited to get going today. We are working on the Genomes mod today. That's going to be the big focus to get started right after we deal with this little guy right behind us. So, I went ahead and got this guy inside the base using the teleporters, and then I knocked him out right here so he'd be safe for a minute. Now, we're going to use the Eternal Wake Up Dart to get him all woke up. Hopefully, he's not running around or anything. Everything's fine. All right, then we can feed you some Eternal Berries. Oh, my God. Is your food going to stay low? That'd be amazing. I don't think it is, though. I think we're being lied to hold on turn that off turn it back on oh yeah his food all went all the way up all right we're gonna leave him alone for just a minute hopefully we can come back out and finish feeding that guy and he'll be all ours it is a hold on it is a peep elite shine horn peep elite <laughs> that's an awesome name peep elite shine horn level 720 120 points above the normal max level so really high level it's not going to be like a killer or anything like that but he's a little shy nor now we pass that up all right so today we want to work on the genomes mod so i need to hop over to this other side and see if we can craft up the next piece in the genomes mod we have the first three pieces good to go and i think we can take our owl if i can find him oh we can take you this will work we'll take the owl and cruise over to this other side and see if we can get some crafting done so we'll go like this eventually i'll have either a teleporter system or some elevators or something to kind of get us through this can I get out of the water, please? Can we? Come on. Come on. Get out of the water. No, come on. I need you to take off. There we go. Nailed it. Uh, come on. Find it. There you go. Nailed it. All right. So over here, we will get some lighting and stuff over here really soon, too. We'll work on that. But what we got to do now is work on the next piece here. We've got the first piece, which is the fuel cell generator. And then we got the industrial forge, and then we've got this one here, which is the crafting station. Inside this one, we can make the next structure, right? So we can go, which one is it? Primary structure. Oh, wrong one. Primary structure. We've got number one. We've got number two. This is number three. We need number four. For number four, I need 250 of the crystal and 700 of the corrupt element. Wow, that's a lot. Let's go find out how much we get from doing that. Okay, I guess we got some work to do. So we'll work on that. In the last episode, we got ourselves a big green snake. I'm not a fan of these big green snakes. Me, personally, I would just leave it in the box and never, ever use it. But it is a big-time knockout dino. So we got a lot of work that we can do with this guy to knock out everything. I don't know if we need a saddle for it. But let's find that out right now. Let's go ahead and land you right here. Let you do your thing. And then we're going to go test out the snake and see if we need a saddle. If it is, it's either a wyvern saddle. I don't think they have their own special one. Oh, we need more berries. Hold on. Hold on. Eternal. I honestly almost forgot about you. There you go. Some more eternal berries. What's up, little buddy? Yeah, there we go. Level 1079. The peep shine horn. How could you not love a shine horn? Anything little that I can eat out here that won't wreck my face? Just to see like how much damage he does. He's not an alpha, so he's not the everything alpha or it's just cosmic or empowered. He's not souped up or anything, but he's a high level, so he might have decent damage. And he's elite, which is one step up in the combat trainer. It's a little confusing. Uh, you know what? What I need to do is kind of post it up on screen right now so you guys get it within... Uh, that's not bad. 2,800? Basically, you have... Three or four different mods here that all add identifiers. Of course, we have shiny dinos, which you guys understand. That goes around and just changes the dinos to cool things like this one, which is a peep. That's one of the modifiers. You have peep, you got ice, you got all kinds of cool different ones that they can add cool modifiers. There's a rubber one. It's basically a rubber Easter dino, so he squeaks when he walks around, and allegedly he goes boing when you throw him. So <laughs> that's something we got to find. So there's rubberized dinos for the Easter event. Now, that's the shiny dinos, and that just goes around and scans all the dinos on the map and then turns specific dinos into a shiny dino. Combat Trainer is a level-up thing where you can actually use this leaderboard. Every 100 kills gives you a damage boost. It's really cool. You can actually change it to where it's not 100 kills. You can change it to, like, 1,000, or you could change it to where it's way more difficult to get into it or to where it gives you less of a bonus. And for that one, you'll see stuff like Elite and Tyrant and Destroyer. So that's how that works. And then the Genome mod, of course, is the one that's got all the dust clouds everywhere. And we eventually go through and get all those. Hold on, let's go back out. I don't know what we're doing. But we basically get go through all those ones. And then you get like a times one, times two, times three modifier with each one of those little evolutions. So that's kind of what we'll work on towards that. 
for the genome side of it. And then, of course, the Eternal side. Oh, go back. From Eternal, they added the Everything Alpha mod, which now makes things either cosmic or empowered. And either one is basically the exact same thing. It's just a different variation of a alpha. So you'll have a an alpha-ized dino. That's all it is. You don't have to really think too much more into it. How much did we get of that? That was quite a bit. 200 of that? 600 of that? I'll take it. All right. We need more. Ooh, I wish I could carry that. That is quite heavy. Do I have a dino on me that can carry it? Uh, oh, we got Big Bad Mama Bear. Here we go. There we go. Oh, God. I heard the footsteps. I got scared. All right, we'll give you all of that. I keep hearing those footsteps. Stop that. Also, we're up to 172 damage. Let's eat that guy. Can I get rid of you, too? Let's get rid of you. If we see another Alpha Spino, we're absolutely taming it. I miss our Alpha Spino so much. We will create a wall of lost dinos here very soon as well. Get all those. All right, let's go searching for more element. That's what we need. I need element and we need crystal. So those are the two focuses right now. So there's ore everywhere. Ore is easy to find. But the element is a little harder to find. Ooh, bone dino. Think I can wreck him? Uh, 2.9 million. Let's not try it just yet. As we power up a little bit, we can definitely take him. But for right now, we're just going to run on by. Focus on crystal. Focus on crystal. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go for the crystal. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the patrons for making these servers possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. I do appreciate it. We also need to start grabbing this stuff. There's also some kind of darts and other things within this mod that we'll have to check out. Oh, why can't I get on there? That was almost really scary. Okay, elemental fire. Reno's gone. We are very, very lucky. I didn't die. Those spiders usually wreck our face really fast. All right, keep going. I hear a dust storm. Is this a good one? Go. Hopefully it's the dust storm we're looking for, maybe. We need another elite dust storm anyways. Oh. An elite eternal alpha therizino. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's just stay focused for a little bit longer. We gotta find... We've got to find Crystal first before we do anything else so we can get that next genome thing made up and then we'll worry about the next tame. Even though we already got a tame today, which was the Shinehorn, which is pretty much game-breaking and game-ending. So there's that. All right, what do we got over here? A couple of Tyrandons. There we go. And that's what we need right there. All right. Get this. Boom, there's one. Okay, stay on this guy. need more of that. Lots and lots of the ore, but I need more of the crystal. So now we need the actual crystal chunks, because that's the only one we don't have yet. Crystal chunks, crystal chunks, where are you? It just basically looks exactly like normal crystal, so it's easy to find. Or it's easy to identify, not necessarily easy to find. We got a bunch of crazy looking stuff up here. Get lots of kills. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the alpha, alpha, alpha. Run. Run, 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 run. He can one-shot us. Get out of here. Oh, there's there's the stuff I need. Dang it. We got to go back. Is that theory coming? He is. If we eat him fast, maybe he won't kill us. Be careful. There you go. I think he can one-shot us. I don't know. Maybe not off the bear. Got him. Okay, let's get the crystal. Or not the crystal, the element. All right, there's one. And two. Awesome. That gave us quite a bit. We've got to be getting kind of close. Let's go ahead and throw all that on here. There you go. All right, next. Oh, there's more. There's a bunch more. Let's grab all of this. Now, let's see if we need to use this one instead. I don't really know which one works better. That's quite a bit. There we go. Get that. Get that. This is perfect. This would definitely help us get into the first tier, which I think the first tier is elite, and I'll have to look up what the modifier is, but it definitely multiplies it by quite a bit. Uh, that's an elite tower. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Here's all the stuff we need. Oh, why is it hurting me like that? I don't know. 
Okay. That's elite dust. That is the stuff we need. I don't know if any of this stuff's going to hurt me. Can I not hit it? Oh, no. Yeah, just keep an eye on our health. It's fine. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. Attempt Creator, genome extraction. Appear to have in oh, no. Okay, we're doing situation. a quick thing. Let's go get some of these. And notify you via your okay, display. hold on. What is this? There you go. That's elite dust. I don't know if that's the stuff we needed or not. All right, well, cool. We get to do this wave out in the open just a little bit. This is good. Okay, go get this one. Oh, hold on. Don't do that because we're actually super overweight. Oh, it's filling in around us. Check that out. Creator, I am detecting ah, okay. Wave of now we should have the scary little bugs come in on us. May I suggest defensive action All right, should see little alien things. Where are they? Oh, no, we're getting those guys. Oh. Rub dinos, too. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is not what I expected it to be. Okay. Also, they are a little... They are way strong. 1.3 million? What in the world? Can they... Oh, my God. This is a little bigger than we thought. These guys are way bigger than we thought. Okay. Oh, what's hitting us? Okay, keep an eye on everybody's health. Oh my god, these guys have so much power. Can I pump a little bit of melee? Let's go melee. Heal up. Oh, where's my heals? Hold on. Heals. This is not what I expected as a fight. Alright, we're getting lots of corrupted nodes out of it. The second wave is going to start. We're going to be in trouble. Oh. Oh, we got things coming in around us? I don't really know what's going on. I thought this was like an easy one. I hope we can finish this one. Oh, that's kind of big. It's a big pteranodon. This is wave two. These all have like another million. Oh, mistakes were made, guys. Oh, we made such big mistakes. Let's take pictures of our mistakes. <laughs> That's what you want to do when there's a fight going on. Take a picture. Just in case. Yeah, this would have been nice to have the Spino right now. This guy has almost 5 million health. Also, can I push this stuff over? There you go. Oh, we got a Baryonyx. Okay. Not what I wanted to do today. This was not the plan. I was just going for Crystal. Can't see anything. We still have 2.7 million. And it's a 40 second countdown? What exactly is the countdown for? Wow. There's so much crazy here. And now we got poop in our face. Alright, hey, we leveled up. There you go. Oh, we're up to 229. There we go. That's right. You guys come to me and give me lots of levels. This is perfect. All right, 10 seconds, and then I think it's going to start another wave. There we go. Starting to wreck some of these little guys. There we go. Get it. Get it. Nice. Much better. All right. Extreme element surge detected. Okay. What kind of craziness is coming in now? I don't know if I agree or not. I know that we're getting wrecked. This is one way to get lots of kills. Also, sorry, I know you guys can't see anything. This is not the kind of video we want to do where you can't see anything. There we go. We're going to finish this tower, though. That's really cool. I didn't know it locked you in. Oh, God, there's a Rex. 6.4 million. How hard does the Rex hit? 14,000? We're okay. Luckily, our Alpha Bear is kind of tough. Thank God we're not on something smaller. We need to get to 300 kills to get that next bonus. Oh, that's lag. I'm sorry. Please don't crash the server. All right. Rex is almost down. So we're under a million on the Rex. And we're at 242 seconds. I think it's a second countdown, right? 
think that's all it stands for. The blackout on the eyes lasts forever. There's another Rex. Yeah, these guys have two million. Right, quick kills. Oh, and these guys are getting powered up too. The elite Baryonyx. Oh, I hear so many footsteps. Lots of Rexes. Alright, we got it. We're gonna hit three mil or 300 kills though. Time to power up our bear again. Alright, finish out the berry. Come on, back up and get him. Get him, get that berry. Oh, there's a Spino now, okay. At least they're not coming in just one-shotting us. Push it under a million. Wow. All the damage numbers, all the crazy. I'm glad this is so challenging. I do wonder how this would be like with a vanilla playthrough. Like, if you played with vanilla dinos, could you even do the Geno mod? I don't know. I assume you could, but I don't actually know. Right, 267. We're starting to cramp on our arms. This is awesome. Okay, get that. All right, start right-clicking everybody. We do 172 with that one. What do we do with the left click? 140. And we'll do the right-click more. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see anything other than the damage numbers. We'll try to get this done as quick as we can. 134 seconds left, I believe. There we go. Get the Rex. The Rexes aren't too bad. 6.4 million. And they do about 9,000 damage on this guy. I want to pick up all that stuff on the ground very soon. Down to 2 million on the Rex. And we're about to hit 300 kills, which will get another new power up. That'd be great. 295. 295 kills, 296. We're getting there. Oh, there's a bunch of kills right here. Here we go. 300 ranked up. All right, there we go. Nice little power up. 244. Yeah, 268 with the right click. Right, that guy. Are we at 79 seconds? So we just have to survive the last 79 seconds, I assume? I'm not 100% sure how that works. Okay, we got a Carno in here now. Where's our timer? 63 seconds. Spino creeping in on the side. I don't know. I hope we're doing this, right? So I think we do this, and then we go get the genome tower. Right, 500,000 on that guy. There we go. Carno done. Can't actually see anything. Hopefully we're doing okay. Let's see. Where are we at? 34 seconds. Come on, team, go. Wow. So I don't know if it levels up to the dino that you have or how that works. Maybe that's why they're so powerful. We're running around on a pretty awesome dino. Maybe, maybe. 15 seconds. Let's finish it out. We got 10. Wait, 7. Come on, finish it out, buddy. Let's go, Mama Bear. Mama Bear, go. Two, one. We appear to all right, survived. now we just got to finish out all the ones that are currently spawned in, right? I had faith in you. Element wave intensity Jeez. appears to be fading rapidly. There we go. Now the these guys got to get killed out. Okay, Genorm Core is vulnerable. I need to clear everybody out before we can go over there. Got that one. All right. That was rough. Okay, so we go over here, we hit E, and it gave us a Elite Offspring something something. Elite Offspring Genome Key, okay. And then we got some cool stuff on the ground we gotta pick up. Okay, stay with me, buddy. We gotta pick up all this stuff on the beach as quick as we can. Get a bunch of that stuff. Got it. We got everything, almost. Get those, get that. 
All right, I think we're good. All right, now we just got to find Crystal. That was awesome. We also got up to 352 kills on Mama Bear. That is greatness. Now we find Crystal. But that was cool. Now we got to do one in the open so you guys could see it just a little bit better. Kind of get an idea of what it looks like and how that works. It's definitely nice to kind of get a chance to run through a bunch of these. All right, now we just look around for Crystal. So on the hunt for Crystal, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, no, don't even need to do that. Look at that. Look at that timing. I appreciate you for showing up just like that. Let's go like this. 153. And not very much. 186, maybe? If that was 183 and 186, no, it was 186 total. I need more. Dang. All right, so that's not enough. We got to go find more. Let's go find more. Oh, we can actually gather the berry while we're up here. Mutated elderberry. Nice. So we got a little bit of it at least. Still on the hunt for the actual crystal, but at least we're getting some of the other supplies that we need. Just run through and eat everything in our sight. 366 kills. We should hit 400 today. Oh, we finally have more, but we're get, we got hit by something. Oh, it's just the cloud. It's the cloud. Get out of the cloud. It's the cloud. Okay, well, we got to go in and get this stuff. Just don't break the crystal. All right, let's get close to it. No, 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 stop. Stop, bear. Okay. Get the crystal. Get out of here. A little more crystal right there. Come on. There we go. All right, let's get out. Let's get out. That should be enough crystal to get it done. Come on, get out. Please don't die, anybody. All right, we're good. Let's teleport home. We should have enough crystal now to get that done. And we can make the next piece of the Genomes mod. So back to the base. See, that went well. It took a little while. We recorded for about 20 minutes, so it's really not that bad. We were able to go out and get ourselves the crystal. And we did a actual elite tower, which is perfect. Because that gets us into the first tier of Genomes, I believe. Unless I'm mixing up my tiers. But that should be the right one. All right. Oh, dang. We'll go down there. Come on back up. And then we'll fly over there with our owl real quick. Let's go over here. I think I can pull it if it's on you, right? Okay, stay there. All right, in fact, can I make a dino tracker? Probably not right now. Let me see. Let's see if we can get at least one dino tracker going. All right, I need prime meat. Come on. Uh, prime meat. And then we need a tracker. We need six cooked prime meat. There you go. Now a tracker. All right, we'll throw this tracker on Mama Bear. That way we can teleport her over there with us. So we'll go tracker. Tracker. Boom. Okay, now on the owl. And then we go over there. I think we can actually use the pteranodon too, but I can't remember for sure. So we'll just do it this way. No, stay flying. Come on. All right. We can go really fast if we go straight. It's really funny how this guy works. All right, are we still flying? Or are we not flying anymore? There we go. All right, where is the entrance? Come on. Get up, get up. Okay. Oh, God. Wait, what? <laughs> that worked out well. Okay, try that again. <laughs> we actually went above. That was awesome. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but that was cool. Let's try this again. Glitching through the uh, ceiling. Okay, don't go so far up this time. All right. Oh, we're just going right here, right? Okay, fly, please. Come on. Fly. Fly. Get through there and land. Okay, nailed it. All right, now we can finally make the pieces that we would need to make. I have the crystal here and most of the element. All right, now we go primary structure, numero four times one. Got it. No, we don't. Do we need fuel cells in here also? We probably do. Let's grab some fuel cells. Yeah, I think that's what we need. Fuel cells. Turn on. Oh, that's really cool. Check it out. That is a cool little animation. Now we can go primary structure. And number four, genome extractor. Boom, finally. 
The genome extractor is what's going to allow us to make the little genome keys, which is what we use to evolve our dinos. All right, so now we have the genome extractor. This thing's kind of big. It's not like massive. This is the medium sized one. There's a larger sized one that we'll get into soon. Hold on. I need to put it. I want to put it like over here. You need to move real quick. All right, and then we'll go back to this. All right, let's see if we can line it up. Ooh, that's not good. Nope, not good at all. All right, we'll just throw it down. We, we'll figure this out. All right, so that is the number four, the genome extractor. Now, it should have gave us another key, number five. And I won't bore with you, bore you guys with reading it on this time. Uh, this one is basically going to give us the next piece. It's going to allow us to do the actual canisters and things that we need to make, as well as to use, we got to go use the gas collector as well. All right, make sure I don't miss anything there. Cool. All right, so we've got that now. So now we can make 005. Oh, I'm sorry, not number nine, which is the mutagenic serum extractor. That one I actually don't remember. Let's make it. I don't remember that one. We should have also unlocked like the canisters or something. Artifacts. I know we can make the blink genome key. We should probably make one of those. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this thing. What is this one? Oh, I actually don't recognize that. What is it? The mutagenic serum, extra serum extractor. Okay. I don't actually know what that one does. This is... I don't know what this one is. Alright. That is an anti-corruption module variant. Alright, undesirable effect. Unsurprisingly, I've managed to create a resistance module. Okay. Alright, let's see what that gave us anything. Alright, primary structure. No. Weapons, no. Structures, gas collector, no. Artifact, no. Armor, no. ACM modules, there it is. Threat level 2 anti-corruption module. Utilize this module on a hazmat suit to chess piece to protect yourself against level 2 environmental threat protection and below. Okay. What are we missing to make it? We don't have enough of the elite dust, which I, I have, don't I? I have tons of the elite dust. So we'll go 55 of that. And then we can craft this thing. And this goes on our actual hazmat suit, from what I understand. I guess that makes sense. All right, so we'll go like that. All right, so we have all those pieces. Now we need to make the little things that go on here. There's little empty slots. Like, you can kind of see it. Hold on. You can see, like, right here where the cables go together. There's little slots here. we got to put things on there. Oh, there we go. There was one more key in our inventory. We had to do this one. Genome template. Key mount, nodule storage, and genome storage. That's what we needed. That should allow us to make these final pieces that we need on here. So now, substructure. There we go. That's what we needed. So we've got to make genome storage. We're going to need more corrupt crystals. Dang, we're at another stopping point. Okay. That's fine. It just means we're at another stopping point for right now. Let's keep that and put it in a fridge. Anything else expire in here? I don't think so. All right, cool. So we got to work on more crystal. And then we'll eventually get some more stuff put on this device. And what I'll do is once we get it all together, we'll eventually kind of show this all together in one video so it makes a little more sense. Hopefully it's not too confusing as we're just going through it a little bit each day. But we're slowly unlocking it as we go. It's kind of fun. All right. Let's go back over. There we go. Kind of cruise back through. I'm going to figure out a way to go back and forth. We might just do a teleporter again. But there's, there's not a way to do it like with maybe I could do like the underwater vacuum compartments when we unlock that. I don't know. We'll figure all that out. Let's go up here. We need to go tame at least one thing today other than just the Shinehorn. So we need to go ahead and try out the snake finally. So let's go snake. Uh, hold on. It's a L.A. There it is. It's an empowered Lapis. Whatever, whatever. All right. Are you rideable? You are. Super gross. I hate these things. No one likes you. Oh, God. I can't even get it out the door. Ah, creepy. All right. I'm not scared. We're fine. Let's go see. Oh, of course it's night out. And we have to try out the new snake, so this kind of works out. So we're going to try to get this guy knocked out. 
He's got 6.9 million torpor, and we've got a snake that does tons of torpor. All right, let's see how bad it is. Oh, okay, this the torpor didn't work. Is it right click? There it is. There it is. Okay, everybody, please leave me alone. Don't mess with me. Did I hit him? Come on, we gotta actually hit him. There we go. I'm a little worried because this guy hits a little hard. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Alright, is the berry asleep or is the berry still in there? Okay, berry, you gotta go to sleep. Oh, he's an empowered berry too. Oh. Okay. That guy has a lot. Dude has so much health. Careful. We do a lot of damage though. This snake is pretty tough. Baryonic, stop it, man. We're trying to knock that guy out. All right, where's he at? 10.6. Okay, you got to go to sleep. 12.1. Where are we at? All right, he's at 13.5. He's running. The gorilla is also running. Ooh. I want that. I'll come back to it. Okay. Bite him in the butt. There we go. All right, that guy is asleep. Now, can I make the stuff to get him? Probably not. <laughs> we didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, it's two prime meat. We can do that. Two prime meat I can do right now. I'm going to make sure this Baryonyx is asleep and not going to go mess things up. There you go. We got that guy. We're going to ignore the giant thing over there. We're going to take this snake back. Yeah, the snake. Kind of, kind of amazing in terms of a knockout dino. This allows us to get some pretty crazy stuff. Ooh. Cave mode does not work. How about if we do this? Ooh, that's not good. Not a fan, not a fan. You are super creepy and super crawly. Wow. Okay, we got to get a better shot of you somewhere. Can I ride you again? You want to go up here and see if we can line you up? There you go. Like that? There you go. All right. That's screenshot worthy. There we go. All right, there you go. Super important stuff. All right, we're going to pick you up. Let's go get our prime meat. And then we're going to get the big bad gorilla. We'll take him out in the next episode. This is a pretty successful day. I like this. This is a little better than the last couple of days where we've been getting wrecked every five minutes. Kind of back on track. All right, how much prime we got? We got three. I think we only needed two. And this guy is an empowered one, so he should be extra strong. All right, let me see. We'll go land on our guy here. All right. Can I jump up and get it? Oh, man. How do I get up there? How are we supposed to do this? There we go. All right. Let's see if we can land on your head. Can I land on you? Oh, perfect. All right. Prime meat times two. Now, this guy has an evolution as well. He can go to the unknown dom Indominus. Absolutely awesome. We'll worry about that later. All right, uh, we're going to head back. The snake was incredible. The snake was a big-time knockout, and we got a lot done within genomes, and we'll be moving towards the next stuff there. I'll do a bunch of collecting in between episodes, so we'll be good with all of the crystals that we need. And then next episode, we'll hopefully get close to evolving our first dino. And the first dino that's got to get evolved is definitely our bear. And then we'll kind of go from there and see what else needs to be evolved after that. But Big Bad Mama Bear is definitely the first on the docket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the patrons for making this possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video out. If you made it to the end of the video, you're my MVP. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.